two brothers. And to Sunkinajev, Agolkov, and Mrak. And Boki, the champion, swimming for Belarus, got a fantastic start. We know he's just such a slick performer, and he'll know exactly what he needs to do to qualify for the final. Already a half body length advantage as they head into the first turn. It'll be interesting to see the split time. It's actually a pretty quick first 50, 24.71, quicker than the previous heats. And Boki's taken it out extremely hard. He's backing into this second 50 with a full body length advantage over the rest of the field. Aliha Boki knows exactly what he needs to do. He hasn't been swimming out of world record paces in any of his races, including the finals. He knows he's the class act and he's just doing enough to, to beat. He's got seven individual races to focus on and indeed is just focusing on doing enough as he touches quickest in this third heat ahead of Clippert and Dimitri Salai. A lot quicker, heat three, substantially quicker. Uh, two seconds clear of heat two. So Iha Boki touching in at 51. Five four Paralympic record time, and uh, well, that's going to make for a very nervous 15 or 20 seconds for the others that were in heats one and two because that was substantially quicker. Flip it, touching in at 53.69, and Saleh, the older Saleh brother, 53.82, but. Uh, Bocchi really just demonstrating why he's so good over this distance and he's the world record and Paralympic champion, so world record holder, Paralympic record holder for the S13. Just had his Paralympic record broken, but his world record stands. Oh no, look at it. It's um, He's bettered his own mark, so 51.54. So Clippert into Saleh in three. Let's have a look at the final standings. This is going to be very interesting indeed, given the discrepancy in time. So there we have Bokis, the quickest, as expected. Uh, two Ukrainians.